Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team making the watch list video for what the heck day is it? Uh, Tuesday? Uh, Tuesday, the, well, today's the 23rd, 24th would be tomorrow, 25th Monday. Tuesday, I think, is the 26th. Man, I started this video and I didn't didn't even remember what day it is, so I'm assuming it's going to be the 26th. Uh, so we'll go with that. Tuesday, the 26th. Um, so that would make the most sense. Um, and if it's not the 26th, it would be the 27th. But we're going to go with the 26th because I'm all screwed up. And we'll, the 26th sounds nice. <laughs> so, all right, we'll go with the 26th. Um, <clears throat> so, again, we're looking for stocks that are holding their highs on the day. Uh, for a potential daily breakout. Now, a lot of times I'll also put stocks um, that maybe had a huge jump and then pull back on the day for maybe some potential continuation. Uh, but ideally, it's uh, stocks that are holding their highs <clears throat> for a potential breakout the next day. But ones that do break out, come back down, that are still above uh, previous resistance levels might have some volatility uh, for some continuation. Um, so <clears throat> before I get started here, um, if you haven't gone over to our website yet, make sure you head over to bullishbears.com. Uh, our website link is below. Uh, just a few things to take bear to be aware of. Uh, we do have about $3,000 worth of free trading courses over there. So, um, <clears throat> you know, helps you to save you a bunch of money with getting started, uh, with learning, um, and paying a bunch of, uh, other money to other uh, trading companies. Uh, we just kind of simplify everything in our courses, uh, right on our website over here. Uh, as you'll see here, here's our chat room right here under our trade room. I mean, it's Saturday right now. Market's not even open, and there's actually still people in there talking. Uh, so if you haven't been over to our trade room link yet, <clears throat> make sure you head over to bullishbears.com. Uh, click on trade room. You'll see right up here. Make sure you register a real login and password over there uh, because, again, after the new year, at some point, uh, again, we got a lot of uh, stuff on the back end to update. Uh, we're going to become membership based, obviously, uh, grandfather you all in uh, for a certain period of time. We haven't decided yet, obviously, <clears throat> you know, coding and all of that stuff. It just takes a lot of money and work and everything to get it right. Uh, but eventually uh, we're going to have the membership and our trade alerts and stuff Um uh, membership based and again give you guys all like this really great rate of ten dollars a month um and just kind of lock you guys in for just an incredible rate just as a thank you for following us all this time and then obviously at some point uh, when everything's up and running uh our plan <clears throat> is to uh our membership base would be more than ten dollars a month so long story short make sure you log register a real login and password over here um because it'll just be so much easier for the transition um, and it'll be, you know, we have lots of people sometimes they won't put in like the, um, <clears throat> you know, certain like login, right, proper login credentials, and then we have to go in and do it for them. So just from the start, register a real, uh, login and password, and you'll be totally fine moving forward. Um, obviously we have lots going on during the transition here, but we have so much more content, uh, that's going to be, um, given to you guys. Um, and that's where, again, make sure you read about our trade alerts over here because we're going to also start um, adding on uh, some potential options alerts as well. So, I mean, it's just more like we've been saying to you guys the whole time, uh, when we go membership base, it's not about, you know, again, with us, we don't care about the money. Obviously, the money is just really a means to an end, right? We need to survive just like anybody else. Uh, so membership base just enables us to um, just free Tim, Dan, and I up more, like, to be able to give more back to you guys. Um, we wish we could do everything in this planet for free, but obviously money or bill, you know, like life and you have, everybody's got bills and all the other stuff, right? I mean, it takes a lot of time. Just alone, the time that we spend every single day just answering uh, messages on Facebook and emails just takes up so much time. Never mind the watch list and doing all this stuff and chatting in the chat room. Um, <clears throat> you know, Tim and Dan still have full-time jobs. Um, I'm not rich by any means. I just had some savings and I'm pretty much draining, uh, doing everything I can to really give back to you guys. And, um, you know, for myself, it's taken the past year of my life where I've just haven't, um, if you 
you know, many of you guys don't know me, but I have a very obsessive, compulsive, like kind of like singular focus kind of brain. So um, I don't have the ability and my brain doesn't allow me the space. Like if I'm designing merchandise, I'll sit there and design merchandise every single waking moment of the day. If I'm doing web website stuff, I'll do that. And my brain doesn't have the ability to like be like, oh, why don't you trade for a couple hours uh, a day, like on, you know, focused and then go do that stuff. My brain just doesn't really allow me the ability to do that. Cause it's just like a whole weight in there. So my point being is, um, as we've had so much growth over the past year, <clears throat> which has been awesome. Um, it's severely impacted my trading, um, because I'm just doing all of my focus with trying to give back to you guys, making the videos, the courses, just all of this stuff. So again, we're trying to just kind of, again, membership base is really just going to help us to free us up more to just, um, ideally become more focused, um, and really, again, give you guys so much more content. So uh, just trying to let you guys in a little bit more of just like how we work. You know, Tim, Dan, and myself, we're just three guys that are, um, you know, just have this vision of really trying to help people with the stock market. And uh, again, we have responsibilities like everybody else. And uh, we're just trying to move forward, give you guys all a great rate. And uh, even moving forward, when our membership rate's more than $10 a month, it'll be just such an incredible value still for people moving forward. So... All that to say, <clears throat> make sure you start getting comfortable in our trade room. Um, if you haven't already, uh, also subscribe over here. Put in your email. We're going to change this page over here. Um, we're going to update it, obviously, once we go membership-based. But uh, right now, just obviously put your email in um, down below here. Stay up to date with all of our content because when we do stuff like uh, sending out like options alerts, stuff like that. We'll be emailing them. It's just going to be easier because in the trade room, it's tough to like you post and then obviously a bunch of other people post and stuff like goes missing. So just wanted to show you guys the stuff again, take our courses, register for our trade room and, uh, come over here, uh, and subscribe by email. So you'll stay up to date with everything and don't miss everything because we post all the time on Facebook and then we still, and we, you know, email out stuff and we still get private messages from people saying, Hey, I didn't know you guys were doing this. Hey, I didn't, I missed this alert or Hey, you know, they're just constantly missing stuff. And that's just kind of how our world is with social media. It's just so easy to miss things. Um, so <clears throat> we want you guys to all be updated with what we're up to. So that being said, let's get into the watch list for, I'm assuming Tuesday <laughs> at this point. Uh, so let's get started here. All right, so I was watching ABWN um, here. So I'm gonna see right here, again, we're just mapping out support and resistance. Um, just continuation with this video. Um, here, like in this video as I do with pretty much all of mine, is just really drawing into the attention of this is trading. Trading is just literally mapping out support and resistance <clears throat> every single day on every single trade, looking for patterns and looking for key breakout or breakdown areas. That's trading every single day. Um, there's nothing uh, that really, there's no shortcut with trading, whether you're doing day trading, swing trading, options trading. Um, obviously, you want to do. Um, <clears throat> both fundamental and technical research, uh, depending on what type of trade you are. But then it really boils down to mapping out support and resistance. I mean, that's just the name of the game every single day doing that. And until you feel comfortable, like if you're a new trader, uh, you should never be trading with real money uh, until you get at least a 60 to 65% win ratio after making at least a couple hundred trades in a virtual account with consistent profits. Uh, we just like to drill that message home all the time. And it just makes common sense. If you're not able to uh, get consistent win ratios in a virtual account, you're not going to be able to do it with real money. Um, <clears throat> and it's important to scale your positions up. Like when you go from a virtual account to a real account, start off with smaller positions, get used to the money, you trading with real money, the emotions, uh, getting used to the entry, you know, using the right proper like keys, hot keys, stuff like that, your order entry system. You want to feel comfortable when you're trading. Um, so this is trading in a nutshell. It's not 
um, hey, let me travel around the world with my fancy uh, Maseratis and my private jets and the huge uh, mounds of cash in front of me with half-naked women. That's not trading. I mean, if that's something you desire to have, if you're a successful trader, then you could do whatever you'd like with your money. But the real, <clears throat> the real lifestyle with trading is is this. I mean, to get anything that you want with trading, you have to do this every single day, mapping out support and resistance areas. And that's what we're about with the Bullish Bears team. We're not making you dependent and reliant upon us. We're not making us the focus of, hey, we're the best traders. Come pay for our service and come rely upon our trade alerts because we're going to give you the magic secret and the magic formula. Because the fact of the matter is the best traders in the world fail over 90 per, or over 30 to 40 percent of the time. So, meaning the best traders still have you know a 60 to 70 percent win ratio. So, if you're relying upon another guru or trading company to call out trades to you when they only have a 60 to 70 percent win ratio, when they call out trades to their followers, if they have hundreds or thousands of followers those followers are going to have a lot less of a win ratio than 60 to 70%, right? Um, so if right now, if I called out a trade to you, right, and we have currently right now about 600 people in our trade room. Um, <clears throat> so let's say, um, you know, we call out a trade to you, and by just the law of averages, we're going to fail, let's just say 40% of the time, right? So we have a 60 to 60% 60 win ratio, that means even the moment I call out that trade to you guys, um, right right when I do that, you're still going to have less than a 60% win ratio. Never mind the you know just the 600 people now. We're growing like leaps and bounds, so it's going to be get even worse the more people that follow us. If you were just waiting on our trade alerts, so you might have a 50% or less. Uh, win ratio because you're chasing so many other people. And that's just saying getting out right when we call it a trade alert, right? But what if you're in the bathroom? What if you're in a team meeting at work, at the water cooler, at lunch? Or what if you called out sick that day, right? And then we called out a trade alert and you couldn't get to it for hours, if not the next day. So now what happens if you just, that's a perfect way to blow up your trading account by waiting <clears throat> and relying on other traders and companies to call out trades to you. And that's why we really stressed uh, to everyone that follows us uh, that our trade alerts, they're very unorthodox, but they're going to be what helps you to make you a better trader. You're going to have to do more work. You know, each night or each morning, whenever we send out the, these out, depending on what your schedule is like, you're going to have to take 20 minutes or a half hour or whatever time it takes for you to input uh, these trade alerts into your brokerage account. Uh, but we're doing the work for you, but you're still going to do need to do more work. And that's why we encourage you, come into our trade room, set up your virtual account, take our trade alerts, and practice. That's the best way um, for you to become a, a really good trader is to know how to trade yourself and never, ever, ever become reliant upon someone else to call out trades to you. But we did it. You know, I paid... Myself personally, I paid uh, $1,500 up front for one trade alert, options trade alert service. It was just for options, and they would call it random calls and puts. $1,500 up front, $3,000 for the second year moving forward, and there was no guarantees when that they were going to send out uh, trade alerts at all. You might get one a week. You might get one every other week. You just wouldn't know. Um, <clears throat> And that was it. I mean, it was just like that. I paid fifteen hundred up front. Like they didn't even have a monthly service. Now again, some other ones are a hundred, hundred fifty, two hundred dollars a month. My point being is, with these options alert service, you never know when they're going to happen. We've seen and been in other day trading rooms, right? So that was just for options alert. I've been in other day trading rooms with very, a very, very well known day trading um, company. Uh, that charges, I believe, a, between 150 to $200 a month for their trade room, right? And you would go in there, and you can see this person's screen, right? But you couldn't see their order entry screen. And literally, they would say, like, X, you know, I'm looking at ABWN, that you wouldn't see their trade entry screen. They have hundreds, if not thousand plus people following them, and they'd be like, in ABN at, ABWN at 260, you're like, whoa, whoa, like how did I, I, he just called it out real quick? And now you have a mass scramble of people running in after him. 
And then by the time you're getting in, that trader's out 30 seconds to a minute, minute and a half later, out at uh, ABWN at 280. And you're like, oh man, you're scrambling trying to get out. And you just paid 150, 200 bucks a month for that. That's not going to make you a better trader. And what happens is at the end of the day, once you become um, <clears throat> a better trader, you're going to realize you don't ever want to pay for somebody else's options alert service like that because you're constantly always chasing them. So that's why when we build our watch list and we put our alerts in here, you're going to have a list of of the alerts that we would be looking at. So you are going to be able to make your own trading decisions. And again, even you know, statistically, we're going to have a 30 to 40% failure rate. So we might be calling an, out a trade that might be a bad trade. But if you have the alert set up, you might see something that looks better and take a better trade. So again, not to belabor all of this, but I really want to drive it home to you guys, especially moving forward, that it's extremely, extremely important uh, to become your own trader, if that makes sense. So ABWN. So this one finished <clears throat> at 260. I'm going to put this one at or above 270 uh, for potential continuation. Um, when a stock breaks a certain resistance area, um, Ideally, if it comes back down and retests it, that's now become support. You want to see it ideally hold. So if a stock breaks above 270 and it comes back and retests 270, you want to see it hold. If it falls below it, then it's potentially um, a bearish and you know potential sign to get out. So you'll see some areas of kind of support down here. Um, <clears throat> some resistance areas. Obviously, whole and half dollar amounts are psychological support and resistance areas. So <coughs> let's go to these ones here. This is perfect example, right? So this one went from, th it total had a breakout SGLB. And then what? look what happens, right? Here's yearly high, 460. Look at what we're rejected, right at 450, right? Half dollar amount right below the yearly high. And what did it do? It finished right at a half dollar amount. So that's easy risk management, meaning um, I'm going to put an alert for potential continuation at or above 350. Um, if you get in on this and it breaks above and it comes back and retests 350, if it starts closing below 350, that might be a really potential, a potential sign to get out. That's a potentially bearish uh, signal. You can see some support in these areas down here. Um, <clears throat> so... Obviously, there's no guarantee to know what a stock's going to do. Um, and that's why you always want to have proper risk management strategies set up, uh, have tight stop losses. But this is a, a kind of more of an easier one. Again, a half dollar amount. It had a big breakout. You can see it's got a defined kind of top right here. So you know that it for it to really continue upwards. This is a double top, 460 and 450. This is double top. If it rejects and doesn't get above this area again, then that's your double top. But this still has some potential room, 350 to 450. This could has some potential moves. Again, you're just a hunter of volatility with day trading. <clears throat> you know, this is the day trading watch list side of things. But even with swing trading, take your profits. We always say take your profits, look for re-entry, don't have FOMO. Don't ever chase a stock. Um, you'll see every single day when we share our trade idea screen, uh, there's always some type of parabolic mover and something that always gets halted. So if you miss something, don't worry. There's always going to be at least one, if not multiple per day. Don't ever, ever, ever chase a stock. Uh, with day trading, again, you're looking to make 10, 15, 20 cents and use your money as leverage, right? Do we all want to make a dollar and two dollars and three dollars and five dollars in every trade? Of course, who doesn't? Um, but if you're trying to chase those all the time, it's going to be the perfect way to fail as a trader. Get really good at making 10, 15, 20 cent scalps, and then eventually you'll become more comfortable to get those bigger gains. ADOM. <clears throat> Don't like that one. Or do I? No. Nah. S-A-E-X, uh, let's see that one. Da, 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 da. Hmm. 265. Um, 
kind of a, do I like that one? That's the question. We'll put that at or above 265. There's some resistance right at that 289. Obviously, three dollars. You know, like this, these areas are just some good. You know, especially that 200 SMA resistance. <coughs> but you know, again, even 265 up to 287, that's still a 22 cent move. So um, it's nothing to scratch here. Uh, to scoff at. Um, so it might be something to potentially look at. SAEX. Um, obviously, if it breaks above 265 and falls back down, that's a potentially bearish sign. And if it falls below 250, that's probably really a bearish sign potentially because it's that half dollar amount. You can see right around there. You know, you can see these candles. They, these candlesticks show these patterns of what's actually happening. Um, so it's very important to pay attention to them. Uh, no. My, uh, <clears throat> ah, so that's perfect. Isn't it? So look at this one. So this closed right, uh, went up to like 410 during the day, but then look at it, it went above 456 after market. That's on Friday. Um, so with this one, I'm going to put it at or above 410. Be aware of resistance at 456. Again, that whole, those whole and half dollar amounts, very, very important to keep an eye on. Um, so traders are going to be aware of this come Tuesday when the market opens. They're going to want, you're going to want to see it get above that 410. And this is going to be a resistance area. So it's either going to potentially bull flag and break up, or it might form like a head and shoulders pattern. You know, this might be, you know, a left shoulder, a head and right shoulder, and this thing might just collapse. You got to watch it. But, um, you know, again, traders pay very close attention to these support and resistance areas. <coughs> MYO. Um... Uh, no. Hmm. So this one, WNDO. Um, be careful of these wicks and these traps. But you know, again, above eight fifteen, right? I'm gonna put it at or above eight fifteen. Um, eight dollars. You got to be careful. But look, there's a huge window here that this could easily go up and down. Like this is a massive window of volatility. Um, <clears throat> so if this breaks above eight fifteen and you were to get in, this is going to be extremely volatile. You don't know what it's going to do. But if it goes above and comes down below eight fifteen, that's a potentially bearish sign. And if it falls below eight, this could really drop. But again, if you just have really tight risk management, look at the patterns, look for proper entries. Again, we're not telling you when you see these alerts and they fire off, we're not saying to buy. We're saying that take our courses, practice, learning, support, and resistance, and then determine you know, if the setup is right for you. Um, if anybody says they can tell you or predict what a stock is going to do, they're lying. Nobody can predict that. Um, you know, it's all about looking at support and resistance and putting the odds in your fav favor and um, setting up proper risk management strategies. But nobody knows what a stock is going to do. A watch list is just that. Alerts are just that. They're alerts to be aware of something. And the only way that you kind of know what's actually happening is when the market's open, when it's live. And even when you're in a position, you have to look at candlesticks, support, resistance, volume, level two, time and sales, all of that stuff. And even with all of that, it's still really a guide. There's nothing that's going to be able to tell you exactly what a stock is going to do. Trading is risky, <coughs> but um, you can put the odds in your favor by just really uh, setting up those proper risk management strategies. So this one here, five, da, 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 da. Eh, don't necessarily love the pattern of it. This looks like it's a five cent spread stock. I don't like the way those move. MLNK. So this one, 
put that one at or above 260. I'm going to just put it at 265. I like it better than 264. Be aware of resistance at 290. Some support here at 244. You see that right around the whole and half dollar amount. It's not always going to be exact, but it reject, you know, pull back right below $3. Um, you know, right here, this 244. It's just close to those whole and half dollar amounts that traders are constantly aware of. M L N K. Um, I don't like five cent or I don't like uh not only do I not like five cent spread stocks, I don't like five symbol stocks. Um just not my preference. Um so I want to see this one ideally get above two nineteen, just that wick. Um people, you know, traders are aware of that. So it did finish at two oh nine. I'm going to put this one to be a little bit safer above. I'm going to put 220. I'd like to see it clear that first. If you took a position above 209, you could. Um, but just make sure if it falls below that, just be very careful. And you can see some um, resistance right around 250, right up in this area here, right below $3. <clears throat> um, but INFI. Uh, fate. Hmm. Am I going to put that one on? 5561. There's some resistance at 587. Uh, we'll put this one at or above 566. So I'm putting it at or above 566 because it was this previous mark over here. Be careful at 587 and obviously at $6. But again, 566 to 587, that's a potential 21 cent move. Um, that's decent. If it falls below 561 or 566, that's potentially bearish. You can see some support down here in the 527, 528 range. So F A T E. Oops. Uh, what is this? Uh, I like how it's holding its highs. Just lots of crazy resistance there. That one's just a little bit too hard to judge. Uh, don't like that one either. Uh, so five, $6. So this one's a little bit easier, right at that six. I like that six dollar marker. You can see it kind of like got up there on the um, aftermarket. So I'm gonna put at or above six dollars. You can see some. Oops. Yeah. At or above six dollars. Put an alert. So that's very easy. If it gets above six dollars, you want to see it hold. You're gonna be careful around that fifty SMA around six sixty three, but also be aware of six fifty. Um, but that's got a potential of potentially 50 cents or so to move. Again, there's no guarantee, but that's what some potential that it has. GNRT, or yep, GNRT, uh, you'll see kind of broke out here above that 618. This one's kind of easy to look at, really. You just want to see it get above 625, and if it gets above 625, you want it to hold. So... Um, I'll put an alert at or above 625. You can see the support. You might give it a little bit of leeway around 617, 616, but, um, you know, got to be careful. It had, it's had a big jump up. You can kind of see this is almost like a cup and, you know, it might form a handle. It might break up and then retest. If it does retest, you want to see it hold these areas. Otherwise it could, it could pull back down. It could go down to, you know, six dollars it can come even down this far there here you know like a cup and handle it's like this cup base and then the handle kind of can fall down a lot so you just got to watch it be careful g n r t i t e k uh, <clears throat> i don't know if i like that one c l m t Hmm. It's got somewhat of a head and shoulder just kind of pattern. You can say this is a left shoulder. You can 
call this a potential right shoulder area, head. It can form multiple areas. Um, I just don't like, it's a little bit harder to look at, so I don't like it. CNAB, that is a pot stock. Good old pump and dump pot stock. Let's see. I'd like to see it get above 127. If you can get above this area, that might have a potential chance to break out. So we'll say at or above 127. CNAB. Um, Three twenty-seven. This one's got some potential up to three fifty. Eh, nah. Hmm. Nah. Kind of a cup and handle. Kind of a cup. Follow kind of like a handle. This is a big cup kind of formation, so could break out. You want to see it break above this 175, and then you'd like to see it break above that and hold. Don't love it, but yeah, it's a mess right there. Yoga. Nope. <clears throat> B cell. Nope. All right, so that is the daily watch list for Monday. Let's go do the swing trade watch list um, or Tuesday, whatever the heck the day is. I'm going to put it to 26. Don't hold me to it. I haven't researched it. I believe it's Tuesday the 26th. So Tuesday the 26th. And we'll change this up here to the 26th as well. All right. So let's see here. No. Uh... Let's see, what is this? 14, there's lots of resistance here. I want to see it clear this 1408 kind of area. Um, but there's lots of these wicks here that could be just very messy. Um, I don't like that. That kind of messes. I don't want, I don't like it. Uh... Mm. Nope. Hmm. Nope. Twenty one forty two. If that can clear this right above that fifty SMA. I'm going to put it at 2150. If you can clear 2150, might have some good room to run above those moving average lines with the crossovers. So we'll put it at or above 2150. That's A T U S. All right, let's do another scan. Some of them are duplicates, so we'll just go through, see if... You know, I am going to put this one again, above 14.05. I, if it, I'm going to... Let me try and get it a better... See, all these all these are... Well, there, there's some resistance at 15 bucks. We're right down 14.50. Put it above 14.08. If it breaks above 14.08, I might give it a little bit buffer. Of a, I'll put 14.10. <clears throat> If it breaks below fourteen dollars, that would be a problem. So we'll put it an alert at or above fourteen ten. Um, it's one to watch. Just watch all of those wicks. But you know, if it can clear those, let's see here. If it can clear this area here first, and if it can start clearing these other areas over here, it's got some potential room to run. Um, you can see the nine and the twenty are starting to potentially cross over. It's rejecting at that two hundred SMA. If it can get above it. Um, that might be a potential reversal sign to go up. Again, $14, a big psychological um, kind of support or a resistance area now, but if it can get above it, it'll be support and it might continue upwards. Got to watch it. Uh, right.
right. Uh, so this one is in the gap right now. Oh, uh, look at that. That just went, let's see, 53, 13, I put. When stocks get in the gap, they can get very, very volatile. Um, but if, you know, they look at, there's a huge gap that can be, I'm not saying it's going to fill. It might be very like a roller coaster ride. But right now it's closing above the nine. Um, it's getting above this kind of doji candle here. If you can get above, I'll put 53.15. <clears throat> Again, once it's in a gap like this, it could be very risky. But there's potential if if it, you know, if the pattern holds, if it can hold above this 53.13 area and goes up, it's got a decent window to move. Uh, it could be, again, very volatile, uh, but it's one to watch. O-N-C-E. Hmm. No. Hmm. Eighty nine. Twenty four. It might be a flat top kind of forming here. It's almost just like kind of this ascending wedge right here with the flat top. I put it at or above eighty nine twenty four. I'll put 25 to be safe. C H R W. So it's kind of like this kind of bull flag or this ascending wedge, like a flat top, higher lows kind of forming. When a stock breaks above this flat top area, many times it'll break out, come back and retest. If it retests, you want to see it hold. So this would be a good like kind of stop area if you were to get in on something like this. Uh, as you can see, it went up, kind of rejected, came back down. Now it might be forming a cup, maybe a cup and handle position. Got to watch it. Or it might be a double top. If it goes up to 89.24, so a little bit below, and it rejects and falls down, that's a potential double top um, formation. No... What is this here? 94, 4, 14, 93. So I'll put at or above $93 on this one. DG, be careful right around here, around 94, 15, and then up here. So, I'll, you know, that's why I say take your profits. It's close to support around this 9 EMA. <clears throat> it's right around a whole dollar amount. If it gets above it, um, then you want to see it continue upwards you ideally want to see the nine start to push it upwards you want to start you don't want it kind of like in the sideways action you want to kind of start to see it point upwards so it can kind of push uh price action up um so dg hmm 29.71 and not going to put that one on We will do one more scan. With swing trading, it's a little bit more, um, you know, tactical, a little bit more. Sorry, my shoulders bother me. Um, it's a little bit more of a few different scans that you want to do because you're, I'm looking at different um, EMA crossovers for a potential different setups. So I have a few different uh, swing trade scans that I look at kind of just to look for different potential setups. Uh, 29, let's see, 20. And yeah, that one dropped after market. Again, there's a lot of these that I might skip over too that might be decent trades to take. I'm trying to kind of give you kind of the safest areas to look at uh, for a trade. So I'm trying to give you 
ideally the most safest ones to get into. But obviously with trading, there's nothing that's really safe. It's just uh, I'm trying to give you the best guides. Yeah, so those are the, the best setups as of right now. <clears throat> so that's the daily and the swing trade watch list. So again, uh, just wrapping up the video here. If you haven't joined our uh, Facebook group yet, uh, we are the stock market community, otherwise known as bullish bears. Uh, we are the bullish bears. Uh, very simply, we call ourselves stock market community uh, just to differentiate ourselves from our fan page. Uh, so make sure you join our Facebook group and then also like and follow our fan page. Uh, obviously, we've gotten so big that um, you know, we're constantly growing by over a hundred members a day in our Facebook group. So it's, it's easier to stay in touch with us, Tim, Dan, and myself by liking and following our fan page. So you can see the updates that we post in there. Um, but our Facebook group, uh, we believe we're the best stock market, uh, type of uh, Facebook group. Uh, we keep all the garbage out. We keep all the noise, all the trolls, all of the spammers, everything. We have our community on lockdown. So if you're a newbie looking to learn the stock market, you're not going to find a safer um, and more knowledgeable kind of group on Facebook about the stock market because we keep everything just as a safe community for you. We put you guys first. Uh, we keep all of the noise out so you can feel free to ask questions and not feel like uh, uh, embarrassed or like, hey, is that okay to ask this question? No, you can ask it. Uh, there's always going to be going to be somebody helpful to answer your question for you. Um, if you have any questions or issues directly, you can always tag Tim, Dan, or myself. Again, like we've been saying, we're the reason why we kind of need to start going membership base is just this group alone. Like, think about it. Over 21,000 people, we get tagged all the time. We get private messages all the time, emails all the time, just for newbie questions and all of that, that, you know, we're taking so much time out of our day every day just to answer newbie questions. Um, never mind with, you know, Tim and Dan full-time jobs. I'm trying to do all this stuff for you guys. It just takes up a lot of time. And like with anything in life, you know, it's, um, you need to get paid for your time so that again, we can just continuously give more back to you guys. But our community has, and always will be our number one focus, which is you. Uh, we wanted to create this safe place for people to learn the stock market. Um, because there's a lot of garbage out there, you know, a lot of people selling false lifestyles uh, when the fact of the matter is, um, yeah, you know, if you bust your butt and you really, you know, put in the effort that it takes to become a trader, yes, you can make that money. And if you want that type of lifestyle, yes, you can have it. But the real and true reality of trading is this, what I'm showing you, you know, in this video, every single day doing that, it's not sexy. It's not like glamorous. It's everyday hard work. It's going in and when the market opens, trading for a couple hours a day, finding the best setups. Or if you're obviously doing swing trading or options trading, you're still going to do have to do your own due diligence and research. So, you know, we're sending out these watches and alerts. We're saving you lots of time doing all of that, but you're still going to have to do um, some work yourself in putting the trade alerts, right? You're still going to have to take the support and resistance that I just showed you and map it out, you know? So you're going to still have to map it out each day and do those things. And then also, if you're going to stay in a trade potentially longer, you're going to want to maybe do some fundamental research. And that's where, again, you want to come over to our website if you're new and take our courses. We have $3,000 worth of free courses. So if you're new getting started, you know, we, we tell people, we encourage you like, hey, type in uh, day trading course, type in swing trading course or options course, just Google them and then see what people charge for those courses. We know there's a major uh, trading company out there that's very reputable. The great one, they're great. They're one of the best. And there's nothing, there's nothing to be ashamed or to apologize for with people that charge, right? There's nothing wrong with it. Um, but my point being is getting started, you know, if you type in, um, we know of a, of a very major popular trading company that charges $3,000 plus for their courses to get started. And they're worth it because they put time and energy and effort um, into getting those courses for you. They package it and then they sell them to you. 
um, because it took their time to do it and they're worth it. With us, we're saving you the $3,000. Doesn't make us necessarily any better or worse than anybody else, but that's what we're doing. You know, we put it together, we put our courses on YouTube and we just, or our videos on YouTube rather than selling them. And then we just organize them in courses. So instead of packaging it and with fancy banners and making the videos private, we make them public and we say, you know, give you the information for free. Same information. A lot of it, we try to make it kind of more simplified, more targeted, um, you know, smaller type of videos, but we're saving you all of that money with getting started. And it might take you a couple months if you're new to get started. Like, I mean, you know, everybody wants to get in the, into the stock market and start making money right away. But the fact of the matter is you need to put hundreds of hours in studying and practicing. So if you're new, come over, take our courses, take the next couple months, right? Open up a virtual trading account in something like Thinkorswim or Interactive Brokers. Um, so study for an hour to a day. Set up your virtual account. <clears throat> Come into our trade room over here. Um, let me click on this. You just click on the bullish bear here. You register and you're in. All 24 hours a day, usually somebody's at least talking in here. So it's another place that you can talk to other traders directly. Uh, so even when Tim, Dan, and I aren't in there, you can just talk to people. Again, it's still it's Saturday right here, a couple days before Christmas, and people are still talking and chatting away and um, giving content in here, right? So this is a good place to go and see, like, oh, what's somebody talking about, like, it's well, it's Saturday here, so I don't really see a specific symbol, but you know, somebody might post, hey, you know, ABC company looks good, and then you can just come over here, type in ABC company over here in your virtual account and just chart your stock. And then if you're gonna like practice getting in a trade, like it's a way to practice until you feel comfortable. So that's what we're doing. We give you the trade room. We're in there. Like Tim, Dan, and myself are the guides. We're not the focus. We set up our trade room so we don't become the rock star focus, but because we don't want you dependent upon us. If, um, you know, you become dependent on us to tell you when to get in and out of stocks all the time, you are going to fail as a trader. That's just the reality. The whole stock market industry, it's this big illusion of like this grandeur of, again, you know, think about it. The most popular movies that are out there are Boiler Room or Wolf of Wall Street. They're selling you this lifestyle. Um, but these people you know, and some of the names in the industry, some people we really respect as well too, you know, we don't necessarily model ourselves after them, but they're making themselves the focus. They're making their lifestyle as the focus. They're making them the guru. And in the end, what they know is the, the reality is they know that over 90% of you are going to fail. So what do they do? They got to promote and pitch this lifestyle, get you in, and they know that in the end, you're going to quit. So they know if you're paying a monthly service, they know you're going to quit in two or three or four months. So they're trying to sell you courses and those things up front, knowing on the end that you're going to quit and go somewhere else because trading is hard. So if we, we could do the same thing, right? We have an unbelievable brand. We're going like crazy. We could be like everybody else and do trade alerts and do the same exact thing. And we know with us, even with membership base, even if we charge $10 a month, we know that there's going to be a ton of people that cancel at $10 a month because that's just the nature of how it is. So in the end, this is who we are. We're coming in, we're sending you up, we're giving you the tools, we're making it extremely economical, we're saving you all the money up front, and we're basically saying, if you want to learn trading, come and join us, roll up your sleeves, get ready to work because this is what it's like every single day. It's this stuff. And we're going to help you. We're going to be your guy, but we're not going to make you dependent upon us because in the end, our focus is the community giving you that place uh, and really just giving you that safe place to learn and uh, become a better trader. So again, uh, the links will be below, but we still have our donate button until some time after the new year to lock in your $10 a month rate. Again, $10 a month. It's like a Netflix payment. We might as well just call it free. Um, again, we've never really been about the money. We just want the money to obviously pay our bills so we can give more back to you guys. And at some point, we don't want to put a time. Again, we have so much we have to do to update the back end of our website. Um, 
but you know we're going to give everybody a window. If you're paying now 10 a month, you're wondering how you're going to transition over. There's going to be some transitioning over, but don't worry. Like if something doesn't transition over or like the membership doesn't convert the most proper way, we're going to give people like a month free or a couple of weeks, whatever it is. Like we'll make sure that like if you're paying 10 a month and you're worried about like, hey, I, do I have to pay another $10 two weeks later? Just like, like, don't worry about it. If we have to do it that way, we're going to give you a credit to offset it. So don't worry. We're not out to screw you. Um, again, it takes a lot of transitioning to do all of this stuff. Um, so again, the links below or just come over here, <clears throat> click on donate and uh, come down here. Please, please, please do your best to put in real information with PayPal. It's going to be an easier conversion. Um, we know that's going to be a problem because there's going to be a lot of people that have, you know, not their real information in PayPal. And again, to get you transitioned, we'll make sure you're taken care of. But that's why it's best right now. Lock in your $10 a month rate. Use real information so it's easier for us to convert you Um and lock you in at that rate. And at some point when the dust settles and everything's up and running and smoothly, our plan, which is always uh, able to change, our plan is to be definitely more than $10 per month at some point in early 2018. And last but not least, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the notification bell. I mean, just look at all just the massive amounts of videos and content on top of all of our courses. Um, I mean, these daily, daily watch list videos alone um, <laughs> they may be boring, right? They're nothing sexy about it. I'm just sitting here talking 45 minutes or so and basically telling you the same thing over and over and over every day. But if you really pay attention, these are some of the most important videos to watch these watches videos, because I'm just literally hammering home support and resistance and patterns every single day. So if you watch these videos every single day over the course of a month to two months, it's just going to get ingrained in you and it's going to teach you a pattern. Okay. Like this may be, um, boring, but it's, Hey, this is trading. So I'm going to watch these videos. I'm going to learn support and resistance and patterns. I'm going to upload these alerts every day. I'm going to come in the trade room. I'm going to open my virtual account. I'm going to study an hour, two hours a day. I'm going to practice for a couple hours. I'm going to talk to other traders. I'm going to go in the community and ask questions and you're going to take trading seriously. You're going to take it and treat it like it's a job or like a business and put in that type of effort. If you don't do that, then the reality is, is you're going to be like the over 90% of traders that will fail because in the end, trading is extremely hard. Not trying to be negative. It's just that's what we're about with the bullish bears telling you like it is. And that's what we're looking to continuously do moving forward. So sorry I rambled along too much in this video. But again, these are my direct ways to be able to talk to you. I don't want to just be like give you some kind of. I don't want to say half-assed, but part of my language, half-assed video of like, hey, here's support and, you know, give you some quick 20-minute video and not give you the content. Like, I want to jam pack these with content that really, that will help you to become a better trader because this is the reality of trading. So, hope you all have a Merry Christmas or if some of you don't celebrate Christmas, Happy Holidays. I'm, I'm not the most politically correct person. So, whatever it is that you celebrate, please don't be offended. I celebrate Christmas. Um, so again, enjoy your weekend and happy trading on Tuesday. Enjoy.